Hello viewer, welcome to my channel, Learn Physics. Viewers, आज इस वीडियो में हम वेव अटेन्यूशन एंड स्किन डेप्थ इन कंडक्टिंग मीडियम को समझेंगे और रेलेवेंट मैथमेटिकल एक्सप्रेशन को डराइव करेंगे तो चलिए आगे बढ़ते हैं इलेक्ट्रोमैटिक वेव इक्वेशन फॉर कंडक्टिंग मीडियम आर गिवन बिलो एज इन इक्वेशन वन ए एंड इक्वेशन वन बी हेयर ए इज द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड वैक्टर एच इज द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड वैक्टर सिकमा इज द कंडक्टिविटी ऑफ मीडियम म्यू इज द परमेबिलिटी ऑफ मीडियम एंड एप्साल इज द परमेटिविटी ऑफ मीडियम नाउ लेट एस कंसिडर प्लेन वेब सोल्यूशन ऑफ इक्वेशन वन ए एंड इक्वेशन वन बी consider plane wave solutions of equation 1a and equation 1b so we write e is equal to e0 exponential iota k dot r minus iota omega t and let us call this equation equation 2a and h vector is equal to h0 exponential iota k dot r minus iota omega t and this is called equation 2b now viewers here you can see that equation 1a and equation 1b both have identical mathematical form so we consider equation 1a and 2a to proceed since equation 1a and 2b and equation 1b both have identical mathematical form so consider equation 1a and equation 2a to proceed now we substitute e from 2a in equation 1a now substitute equation 2a in equation 1a now in order to do that what we do we first find the laplacian operator acting on e vector so we have laplacian operator acting on e and this gives us iota k whole square e similarly we have del e over del t and this is equal to minus iota omega e and del square e over del t square and this is equal to minus iota omega whole square e now we write equation 1a using these equations so we write abhi to aapko pata hai ki minus a iota square is equal to minus 1 iota square is equal to minus 1 so we write equation 1a we have minus k square e minus mu sigma minus iota omega e minus mu epsilon minus omega square e equal to 0 we write it as minus k square plus iota mu sigma omega plus mu epsilon omega square e equal to 0 now since e is arbitrary it cannot be 0 since e cannot be 0 so we write k square 
is equal to mu epsilon omega square plus iota mu sigma omega and this is called equation number three now k is a complex quantity k is complex quantity so we write k is equal to alpha plus iota beta and let us call this equation equation 4a now we take a square of equation 4a take square of equation 4a so we write k square is equal to alpha plus iota beta whole square we open it we write alpha square plus iota beta whole square plus 2 iota alpha beta since iota square is minus 1 so we write k square is equal to alpha square minus beta square plus iota 2 alpha beta and let us call this equation equation 4b now compare equation 3 and equation 4b now compare equation 3 and equation 4b so we write alpha square minus beta square is we kya kar real or imaginary part ko separate kar rahe. so we write mu epsilon omega square let us call this equation equation 5a and we have 2 alpha beta this is equal to mu sigma omega and let us call this equation equation number 5b now we need to find alpha and beta to find alpha and beta consider we write alpha square plus beta square whole square we open it we write alpha raised to 4 plus beta raised to 4 plus 2 alpha square beta square and this is equation number 6a similarly we have expression alpha square minus beta square whole square we open it again alpha is to 4 plus beta is to 4 minus 2 alpha square beta square and this is equation number 6b now from equation 6a and 6b using equation 6a and equation 6b we write alpha square plus beta square raised to 2 is equal to alpha square minus beta square whole square plus 4 alpha beta let us call this equation equation number 6c now we use equation 5a and 5b in equation 6c basically we are just writing the expressions for alpha square minus beta square and 2 alpha beta so we write now use equation 5a and equation 5b in equation 6c so we write alpha square plus beta square whole square is equal to mu epsilon omega square whole square plus mu sigma omega whole square and this is called equation number 6d
we further simplify it we write alpha square plus beta square now we write under root mu epsilon omega square whole square plus mu sigma omega whole square we complete the under root and in this equation we add once 5a and once we subtract it so we write add equation 5a in above equation and subtract equation 5a from above equation so we write alpha square plus beta square plus alpha square minus beta square is equal to under root mu epsilon omega square whole square plus mu sigma omega whole square plus mu epsilon omega square and we have alpha square plus beta square minus alpha square minus beta square equal to under root mu epsilon omega square plus whole square mu sigma omega whole square under root minus mu epsilon omega square Now these equations yield now these equations yield two alpha square is equal to mu epsilon omega square under root one plus sigma over epsilon omega whole square plus mu epsilon omega square and similarly we can write for 2 beta square we write mu epsilon omega square under root 1 plus sigma over epsilon omega whole square minus mu epsilon omega square We rewrite it. We write 2 alpha square is equal to braces under root 1 plus sigma over epsilon omega whole square plus 1 mu epsilon omega square and 2 beta square is equal to braces 1 plus sigma over epsilon omega square minus 1 braces mu epsilon omega square now from these two equations we finally write alpha and beta now finally alpha and beta may be written as follows so we write alpha is equal to under root mu epsilon omega under root 1 plus sigma over epsilon omega whole square plus 1 whole divided by 2 raised to half and similarly we can write for beta beta is equal to under root mu epsilon omega under root 1 plus sigma over epsilon omega whole square minus 1 
whole divided by 2 raised to half. Let us call this equation equation number 7a and this is called equation 7b. Now we know since k is equal to alpha plus iota beta, since k is equal to alpha plus iota beta, we rewrite the expressions for e and h using equation 2a and 2b. Now, equation 2a and equation 2b take form, we write e is equal to e0 exponential iota alpha plus iota beta n cap dot r minus iota omega t here we write e exponential minus beta n cap dot r e0 exponential iota alpha n cap dot r minus iota omega t let us call this equation equation number 8a and similarly we can write for h vector h is equal to h0 exponential iota alpha plus iota beta n cap dot r minus iota omega t we solve it we write exponential minus beta n cap dot r e h0 h0 exponential iota alpha n cap dot r minus iota omega t and this is called equation number 8 b now from equation 8a and 8b you can see that the wave traveling in the conducting medium is given within the bracket and this wave is being attenuated by the exponential term exponential minus beta n cap dot r here n cap is the unit vector in the direction of wave propagation so we simply write that equation 8a and 8b show that the amplitude of field vectors e and h get especially attenuated owing to the term exponential minus beta n cap dot r equations 8a and 8b show that the amplitude amplitude of field vectors e and h get especially attenuated especially attenuated Going to the term exponential minus beta n cap dot r. Here beta is called absorption coefficient and indicates wave attenuation. Here beta is called absorption coefficient. absorption coefficient and indicates wave amplitude attenuation now we have two cases we can consider two cases depending on the extreme cases of conductivity 
first one is a poor conductor and next one is a good conductor now consider two cases case 1 poor conductor that means sigma over epsilon omega is far less than 1 now what happens if this is the case so what is alpha alpha is equal to mu epsilon under root omega under root 1 plus sigma over epsilon omega whole square under root plus 1 divided by 2 raised to half now this is the alpha and we have condition that sigma over epsilon omega is far less than 1 so what we do we expand this under root term 1 plus sigma over epsilon omega whole square We expand it. We write one plus half sigma over epsilon omega whole square plus and so on. Since this term is very low compared to one, we ignore this term and higher order terms. Since sigma over epsilon omega is far less than one, so ignore sigma over epsilon omega and higher order terms so we approximate this under root term 1 plus sigma over epsilon omega whole square we write it as 1 so now alpha can be written as alpha is equal to under root mu epsilon omega 1 plus now we use approximation sign here 1 plus 1 over 2 raised to half and finally we write alpha is equal to under root mu epsilon omega let us call this equation equation 9a similarly we can calculate expression for beta beta is equal to mu epsilon under root omega under root 1 plus sigma over epsilon omega square minus 1 whole divided by 2 raised to half now again we expand the under root term so we write 1 plus sigma over epsilon omega whole square under root we write 1 plus half sigma over epsilon omega whole square plus and so on now if we retain only the first term then what will happen beta will be identically equal to 0 so what we do we retain the first two terms retain first two terms so we write we have 1 plus sigma over epsilon omega whole square under root is equal to 1 plus half sigma over epsilon omega whole square and now we write expression for beta mu epsilon under root omega here we have 1 plus half sigma over epsilon omega whole square minus 1 divided by 2 raised to half let us simplify it so we write mu epsilon under root 
omega here we have sigma over 2 epsilon omega and we finally write for beta beta is equal to mu over epsilon under root sigma over 2 and let us call this equation equation number 9b so for good conductors sorry for the case of poor conductor so in case of poor conductor we write k is equal to alpha plus iota beta we substitute the values of alpha from 9a and beta from 9b we write mu epsilon under root omega plus iota mu over epsilon sigma over 2 and let us call this equation 9c now we now we proceed towards the case of good conductor case 2 good conductor means sigma over epsilon omega is far greater than 1 so we write expression under root 1 plus sigma over epsilon omega whole square under root plus 1 and this we approximate as under root sigma over epsilon omega whole square why we are doing that because this term is very large in compared to one so we ignore this one and this one and this becomes sigma over epsilon omega similarly we write one plus sigma over epsilon omega whole square minus one sigma over epsilon omega whole square and this becomes sigma over epsilon omega now we calculate alpha and beta for the case of good conductor so we write k is equal to alpha plus iota beta under root mu epsilon omega we are directly writing expression for k under root 1 plus sigma over epsilon omega whole square plus 1 divided by 2 raised to half plus iota under root mu epsilon omega under root 1 plus sigma over epsilon omega whole square minus 1 2 raised to half let us simplify this expression mu epsilon under root omega and here we write sigma over epsilon omega whole divided by 2 raised to half plus iota under root mu epsilon omega sigma over epsilon omega whole divided by 2 raised to half let us simplify this we have mu sigma omega over 2 under root plus iota mu sigma omega divided by 2 and we finally write expression for k k is equal to 1 plus iota under root mu sigma omega divided by 2 and let us call this equation equation 10 Now again from equation 8a and 8b we write expression for E and H. Again from equation 8a and 
equation 8b right expression e and h so we write e is equal to exponential minus beta and cap dot r e0 exponential iota alpha and cap dot r minus iota omega t we have already named it 8a and h h is equal to again exponential minus beta and cap dot r h0 exponential iota alpha and cap dot r minus iota omega t and we have named this e equation 8 b now from this these two expressions we can see that term exponential minus beta and cap dot r is a term which shows attenuation with the distance term exponential minus beta and cap dot r shows shows the wave attenuation wave attenuation with the distance along the direction of wave propagation along the direction of wave propagation so we probe this term we write exponential minus beta n cap dot r we write it as 1 over exponential beta n cap dot r and we write it as 1 over e and this will happen only when the product beta n cap dot r is equal to 1 beta n cap dot r is equal to 1 we further explore this condition if beta n cap dot r is equal to 1 then we can write n cap dot r equal to 1 over beta so in this way we can say that 1 over beta is the measure of distance along the wave propagation direction so we write when a wave enters a conducting medium and travels a distance of 1 over beta its amplitude is reduced to 1 over e times of wave amplitude when wave had just entered the conducting medium when a wave enters a conducting medium and travels a distance of 1 over beta its amplitude its amplitude is reduced to 1 over e times of wave amplitude when wave had just entered the conducting medium now this distance is called skin depth this distance of 1 over beta 
is called skin depth or penetration depth व्यूअर्स आपने ऑब्जर्व किया होगा कि मैंने कहा है कि एम्पलीट्यूड इज रिड्यूस टू वन ओवर ई टाइम्स ऑफ वेव एम्पलीट्यूड व्हेन वेव हैड जस्ट एंटर्ड द कंडक्टिंग मीडियम मैंने ये नहीं कहा व्हेन वेव वाज एट द सरफेस और द एम्पलीट्यूड एट द सरफेस ऐसा क्यों नहीं कहा इसको एक इमेज से देखते हैं देखिए जब कोई वेव एक मीडियम से दूसरे मीडियम में जाती है तो एक इंटरफेस होगा दोनों मीडियम के बीच में और उस इंटरफेस पे कुछ बाउंड्री कंडीशंस को सेटिस्फाई करना होगा और ये बाउंड्री कंडीशंस हमें बताएंगे कि जो ट्रांसमिटेड वेव है उसका एम्पलीट्यूड क्या हो सकता है इन चीजों को हम फ्रेनल इक्वेशंस के टर्म पे भी देख सकते हैं ये जो रेशियोज हैं ये हमारे पास फ्रेनल इक्वेशन के टर्म पे आएंगी इनको हम कमिंग वीडियोज में देखेंगे फ्रेनल इक्वेशंस अब होता क्या है कि जब वेव इस मीडियम से दूसरे मीडियम में आएगी तो उसका एम्पलीट्यूड वो नहीं होगा जो कि प्रीवियस मीडियम के अंदर था यानी कि अगर इंटरफेस पे ई e इंसिडेंट है तो हमारे पास जो ई e ट्रांसमिटेड है यानी कंडक्टिंग मीडियम में उनका एम्पलीट्यूड सेम होगा जरूरी नहीं है तो जो एटेन्यूशन होगा वो ई e ट्रांसमिटेड पे होगा इस बात को हमें याद रखना होगा इसलिए मैंने कहा द एम्पलीट्यूड वेन वेव हैड जस्ट एंटर द कंडक्टिंग मीडियम अब इसको एक इमेज से और समझ लेते हैं सपोज हमारे पास वेव एंटर किया और और जब वेव ने एंटर किया तब उसका एम्पलीट्यूड कितना था वन और अगर हमारे पास जो स्किन डेप्थ है वन ओवर बीटा वो टू पाई है तो टू पाई डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल करने के बाद अराउंड एट दिस पॉइंट वेव का जो एम्पलीट्यूड है वो वन ओवर ई e रह जाएगा इट विल बी रिड्यूस टू वन ई ऑफ ओरिजिनल और और द एम्पलीट्यूड when wave had just entered the conducting medium so this is as good as 0.367879 to chaliye ab hum iske expression ko bhi likh lete hain ek bar so delta which is the skin depth is equal to 1 over under root mu epsilon 1 over omega अंडर रूट वन प्लस सिग्मा ओवर एप्सल होल स्क्वेयर माइनस वन होल डिवाइडेड बाई टू रेस टू माइनस हाफ नो फॉर द केस ऑफ गुड कंडक्टर नो फॉर गुड कंडक्टर That means sigma over epsilon omega far greater than one. We have expression one plus sigma over epsilon omega whole square minus one, and this is reduced to under root sigma over epsilon omega whole square equal to sigma over epsilon omega. so expression for skin depth for good conductor becomes delta 1 over under root mu epsilon 1 over omega sigma over 2 epsilon omega raised to minus half we can write it as 1 over under root mu epsilon 1 over omega 2 epsilon omega over sigma raised to half and now we can finally write our answer delta is equal to 2 over mu sigma omega under root and let us call this equation equation number 12 now from equation 12 we can have few observations first one is the if conductivity is very high if conductivity of medium is very high then skin depth is very low and if frequency of electromagnetic wave traveling in the conducting medium is very high then again skin depth is very low activity 
of medium is very high then skin depth is very low and second observation if frequency frequency of electromagnetic wave traveling through conducting medium is very high then again skin depth is very low then skin depth is very low we can also say that with the increasing frequency skin depth decreases with the increasing frequency skin depth decreases now in addition to this let us see effect of conductivity on phase velocity and refractive index of medium now let us see effect of conductivity on phase velocity and refractive index so again from equation 8a and 8b we write the expression for e and h again from equation 8a and equation 8b we write e is equal to exponential minus beta n cap dot r e0 exponential iota alpha n cap dot r minus iota omega t we have named this equation as 8a and for h vector we write exponential minus beta n cap dot r h0 exponential iota alpha n cap dot r minus iota omega t and let us call this equation 8p now it is clear that for the wave traveling in conducting medium k is replaced by alpha so phase velocity may also be obtained by v is equal to omega over alpha since for the wave traveling in conducting medium k is replaced by alpha so phase velocity we can be calculated as omega over alpha so we simply write under root mu epsilon omega under root 1 plus sigma over epsilon omega square 
plus 1 whole divided by 2 raised to half and this serves as denominator and numerator we have omega and this is our phase velocity v let us simplify this expression we write v is equal to 1 over under root mu epsilon under root 1 plus sigma over epsilon omega whole square plus 1 whole divided by 2 raised to minus half and let us call this equation equation 13a now for the case of good conductor we know that sigma over epsilon omega is considered as far greater than 1 for good conductor sigma over epsilon omega is far greater than 1 so we do the approximation we write under root 1 plus sigma over epsilon omega whole square plus 1 this is as good as under root sigma over epsilon whole square equal to sigma over epsilon omega so the expression for v becomes 1 over under root mu epsilon sigma over 2 epsilon omega raised to minus half we finally write 1 over under root mu epsilon 2 epsilon omega over sigma raised to half and here we have phase velocity for good conductor 2 omega over mu sigma under root and this is called equation number 13b now let us calculate the expression for the refractive index of medium now refractive index of medium is n is equal to c over v where c is the speed of light in free space and v is the phase velocity in conducting medium so using 13a using equation 13a we write c over 1 over under root mu epsilon under root 1 plus sigma over epsilon omega square plus 1 whole divided by 2 raised to minus half this is our n the refractive index now we simplify the expression n is equal to c under root mu epsilon under root 1 plus sigma over epsilon omega square plus 1 whole divided by 2 raised to half and this is equation number 14a now let us evaluate that expression for the refractive index for good conductor For good conductor, sigma over epsilon omega is far greater than 1. We know that. So, refractive index becomes C under root mu epsilon sigma over 2 epsilon omega raised to half 
let us simplify this expression we have n is equal to mu sigma over 2 omega under root multiplied by c and this is called equation number 14b now 14b gives the refractive index for the good conductor equation 14b gives the refractive index for good conductor viewers aaj ke video mein itna hi ummeed karta hu ki video aapke liye helpful rahega thanks for watching this video please video ko like kijiye share kijiye aur mere channel learn physics ko subscribe kijiye thank you